Welcome back into the film room. I'm your host, Eric Turner, and today's Cover One Film Room feature, we're going to take a look at new Bills cornerback, Rasul Douglas. The Bills received the talented corner and a fifth round pick in exchange for their third round pick. And this guy has been a scheme fit for the Bills since he came out of college at West Virginia. Douglas is six foot two, 209 pounds. He has long arms. At the combine, he measured 32 and 3 8 inches in arm length. And he's going to be a really nice off corner to play opposite Christian Benford. Based on all accounts, he's a leader. He's very passionate. You see that on film. You see that when he comes up and makes tackles on wide receivers, tight ends, and running backs. But more importantly, he makes plays at the catch point. And that starts when he's in off coverage, his mental processing and ability to read two and three man route concepts, and then break on the ball. Anticipate that route combination, anticipate that route when in off coverage, whether it's zone or man, and coming downhill and making plays at the catch point, whether that's by breaking up passes or interceptions. So without further ado, let's jump into some of his film. Douglas is so good in off coverage, especially if we're talking zone, because he plays with good zone eyes. On this play, you see him look through the number one wide receiver, and as that receiver hits his depth, he gets his eyes on the quarterback, but more importantly, the wide receiver coming across the field. He does a great job of zoning in on him and then coming up and making the tackle. We saw this against the Falcons as well. You see three eligibles to the bottom of the screen. They're running a sale concept. So basically the Packers now have a three over two in between the numbers. Kyle Pitts is the innermost receiver. He's running the sale route, that outbreaking route to the boundary. But look at the eyes of Douglas and the depth he's at. He's able to read both of these routes and as a quarterback, takes a hit as he throws it the ball sails and he comes over the top to make a play in front of the wide receiver when i say he plays with very good zone eyes that's his ability to keep wide receivers in his peripheral while looking at the quarterback and reading the quarterback and reading the depth of the quarterback's drop and when that ball is likely coming out and where that ball is going to on this play the number one wide receiver is in his peripheral but you see douglas eyeing the quarterback drop and he sees number two coming out into the flats. He sees that screen setting up because he's reading the quarterback. He lets the number one wide receiver go and he comes up and makes the tackle on the running back. Having a corner that can communicate and confidently make a play on the ball in zone coverage is just so good to have with how often defenses are in zone coverage. The Bills play cover three 29.4% of the time and they like to do that on early downs. So offenses attempt to run play action to get the ball behind the second level and having a corner like Rasul Douglas to communicate among his teammates in zone coverage but also the confidence to break on the ball and make a play at the catch point is going to be a welcome addition to the Bills defense currently when the Bills are in cover three they have 13 pass deflections that's seventh overall in the league so adding Douglas to this defense will only augment those numbers here's another play with Douglas in off zone coverage the Falcons are attacking with play action, a three-level passing concept. You see Douglas peek out to the vertical stretch to the top of the screen. He recognizes that the tight end is leaking from the backside and no one is covering him. So he comes all the way across the field, drives on the ball, and then as a quarterback is trying to hit that tight end on the crossing route, right in front of the linebacker, Devondre Campbell, he slips his left hand in there to punch the ball out. This is just another example of exceptional awareness in zone, finding the target going through the zone, playing above the scheme really, and then using those long arms to work around the body of the receiver to punch the ball out. Since 2021, Douglas is 10th overall in pass breakups. He's registered 33 since that year. And he can do that in off zone coverage like you've seen, but also in off man coverage because he reads routes and wide receivers so well on this play against the commanders. You're going to see him in off man coverage, but watch him read the route by the wide receiver and how that wide receiver telegraphs this in breaking route. So on the snap, he maintains his leverage and depth. And then right at the top, you see him square up right there. He's anticipating a break coming. He's reading that wide receiver as that wide receiver brings his head and eyes around to the middle of the field, telegraphing that route, letting the defender know that he's running an in breaking route. A break is coming. This is when Douglas anticipates that and breaks on the ball from that depth, and he's able to make a play on the ball. Wide receiver coaches always preach to bring your helmet and eyes around last, because if you don't, you'll cue the route and allow the defender to make a play. 
Here's another play on the ball against the Commanders, this time with Douglas in the slot. And the Packers are playing a three over two coverage. So the linebacker, Douglas, and the safety are matching or pattern matching the two inner routes here. The number three receiver, which is a tight end, runs an in-breaking route. So the linebacker carries him, which means the second in-breaking route by the wide receiver is Douglas's assignment. So he has to get on his horse to make a play on the ball here. And you see him do that perfectly. He drives on this from depth and is able to make a play at the catch point. He consistently punches the ball out. You saw plays where he reached around the defender and punched the ball out. And here against the Raiders, he punches it out from the backside, from the outside of the pocket of the wide receiver. He lost at the line of scrimmage to Jacoby Myers, but he recovers, then tracks the ball. And as Myers goes up to climb the ladder to catch the ball, he punches it out from behind. He essentially uses the peanut punch to break up passes consistently. And you see that here against the Falcons. The wide receiver does a good job on the in-breaking route and tries reeling the pass in and is kind of losing it as he is coming across the middle of the field. Well, Douglas makes sure to punch it out at the catch point to force an incompletion. I think Douglas's skills in off coverage really mesh well with Christian Benford, who I think he will start opposite of eventually. The Bills like to have a boundary corner up near the line of scrimmage to the short side of the field and then have an off corner to the wide side of the field or the field side. And so I think Benford more times than not will be that boundary corner into the short side up near the line of scrimmage in the receiver's face with Douglas as that off corner, especially in those three by one situations where offenses want to attack with their number one wide receiver to the boundary side. So the single wide receiver side that'll allow the bills to put Benford up near the line of scrimmage roll a safety over the top to help take away the alpha wide receiver and then allow Douglas and the rest of the Bills defense leverage the receivers to the wide side with their pattern matching coverages. And on this play against the Rams, you're going to see exactly that. Douglas is to the wide side of the field. He's to the trip side. He is reading the quarterback here in zone coverage and the Rams try fooling him. They try throwing a smash concept at him with Cooper Cup going to the flat and then the number two wide receiver going to the corner. So they're trying to high low him. They're trying to make him wrong no matter what. And he senses this route combination and specifically the route by Cup beautifully. Cup pivots back to the middle of the field. Douglas's eyes are on Stafford. Douglas breaks on it, picks it off, and takes it to the house for six points. Fantastic zone eyes, zone awareness, zone spacing of the two routes on this apparent smash concept. And the anticipation of that pass from Stafford to Cup was just beautifully executed by the cornerback. Since 2021, Douglas has 10 interceptions. That's third overall among all defensive backs. And that's because of his awareness, his play from the shoulders up, and ability to play above the scheme at times. On this play against the Titans, the Packers are selling out. They're in cover zero. They want to stop the run. Titans know that. And so they run play action and they only send one wide receiver out in a route. So on the snap, Douglas gets his eyes on the tight end. The tight end stays in the block. Douglas senses that it is a pass, and so he finds work. He gets his eyes across the field on the wide receiver assigned to Jair Alexander. He gains depth and undercuts that crossing route by that wide receiver, and he's able to pick off Ryan Tannehill. That's just incredible awareness. The ability to diagnose what the offense is trying to do on second and short by trying to push the ball down the field. And even though his man didn't go out for a route, he found work. He undercut that pass for the interception. But in order to see the field as a corner in the Bills defense, you have to be able to tackle. They have their corners up in run fits consistently. On this third and one play, you're going to see the Raiders get the ball to Jacoby Myers to the wide side of the field. And Douglas just triggers downhill and comes up and makes a nice open field tackle on Myers to force fourth down. Watch his play while he is in zone coverage. So on the snap, he man turns. So he turns to the wide receiver and makes it look like he's covering him in man coverage. But he's actually playing zone. You see him peel off and as number two comes out to the flats, he steps up and makes the tackle to minimize the gain. He can routinely make tackles in the open field. He's not afraid to do so. Switch released by the Lions on this play. Look him space the route concept. And as a quarterback, Checks it down in that hook-to-curl area near the numbers. He comes up and makes the tackle. 
So even though passes are completed in front of him, in zone coverage at times, he can come up, minimize that gain, and extend the drive. I love this play from the Raiders game. The Raiders try setting up a wide receiver screen to Devontae Adams, but Douglas shuts this play down. He stays over the top of the block by Colton Miller, the offensive tackle. It's right into the alley on where that wide receiver screen is supposed to go and then shuts it down. Just fantastic awareness on that wide receiver screen. He can do it against the run too. He has nine solo tackles against the run. Here the wide receiver push cracks to the safety and as that running back looks to bounce, he's there to end the play. Rasul Douglas has that demeanor that Sean McDermott wants in his corners. That nosiness, that aggressiveness, that demeanor to fire their gun and come up and make tackles, especially in the open field. And keep in mind, Douglas has played slot corner, most of it in 2022. And that's because he has that mentality that we see from Taron Johnson, the ability to fire his gun and come make tackles up near the line of scrimmage. The Bears try swinging it out into the flats to their wide receiver. Douglas reads it and ends the play. Against the Vikings, they run a curl swing concept to Justin Jefferson out of the backfield. Douglas puts an end to that. He plays with the mentality that all defensive coordinators love. Whether we're talking in the slot or on the boundary, when Douglas struggles is usually because of his lack of agility and or foot speed. Receivers are able to create separation whether he's in zone or man, and usually that's horizontally. Vertically, he can carry routes and maintain the foot speed of vertical threats, but when receivers run across the field and stretch the defense horizontally, they can create separation away from Douglas. The other area that receivers create separation are at the top of the route stem, at the break point. They use their agility and the ability to change directions on Douglas to create separation at that moment of truth. Another area where Douglas struggles at times are on double moves. He trusts his eyes, he trusts his instincts and his anticipation of the route that's unfolding in front of him. And so sometimes he'll jump that route and then you'll see the pass just go up and over the top of him. We saw that firsthand in 2022. Diggs got him at the top of this double move when Douglas thought Diggs was just running an out route. He peeked to the quarterback and that allowed Diggs to separate deep for the touchdown. But overall, I love the fit of Douglas in the Bills scheme. They needed a playmaker at that third level. They needed a playmaker at the corner position. And Douglas makes those plays on those money downs. On third or fourth down since 2021, Douglas has registered five interceptions. That's the second most in that span and 13 pass deflections. That is eighth most in that span. He makes plays when the defense needs it, and the Bills sorely need playmakers on their defense now with their defense reeling the last few games because of the injuries at the first, second, and third level. If you like that breakdown, please smash that like button. Leave me a comment letting me know what you like about this addition to the Bills defense. And at the very least, please subscribe to the Cover One YouTube channel. I am Eric Turner owner of Cover One, host of The Film Room, every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Until our next breakdown, go Bills.